Hi guys, welcome to part 4 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Yes, already a month. After uploading a part 3, I spent two days with a pencil and a paper, sketching everything I could about this new configuration here. Yes, I'm from the old school sometimes and I use a pencil and a piece of paper and even a calculator, guys. Not always my PC. But I always got the same results. I will not have enough space for all my Lemax buildings. So I started to give up some of them for this 2023 season especially because last season I spent tons and tons of hours modeling 20 and more figurines related to circus for my three ring circus. They are special for me and I don't want to give up on them. So I need to figure out how to use them with this new configuration without the support the support sorry of a circus maybe i will switch to a carnival so i will need a carnival section with a twist obviously because i love a twist i need to remove those panels here that I place it there and go a little deeper in this direction because I think the carnival will be at this level here splitting in some strange uh, geometry I need that and uh, how can circus figurines exist without a circus that was the dilemma I have to face during this week. Maybe I found a solution. Sorry, I was there too, much, too long. Let me switch to the other camera because I like also this other camera. So I was saying maybe I found a solution and right now after a night of modeling, I'm 3D printing with my resin printer some strange thing, some big almost this dimension here, almost a 20 centimeters strange thing that uh, I will try to put behind me, there, behind the tree there, to start the carnival section. But the carnival section will also need an entry point. And this entry point needed to be, for me, this season, a fountain. I have a fountain, yes, the Lemax modular uh, fountain, but it is too big, too tall. I want something half the age, maybe a little more, of a figuring, starting from ground and giving attraction to the carnival section obviously with real water with a pump but i want it to be small as small as possible i need it i want it i need to start modeling it now i told you i want a fountain a Victorian era fountain and uh, that fountain I want it as simple as I can model it and uh, as easy to 3D print as I can get it and I will start from here maybe you will recognize JJ my companion from season 2022 and I will use JJ as a dimension proportion for my fountain I'm right now using Rhinoceros 7 or Rhino 7 because everything is not organic. I model it with Rhino. 
everything else. Let's say figurines. I model them with ZBrush. And I want to show you the entire process to get the fountain. Let's start with some simple geometry there. Okay. Like that. And let's get the orientation. Let's say like that. Uh, a little two down. I will get it upper a little more. That's my starting point. Something like that. Okay. And these maybe let's measure it in order to get an idea on how this dimension is. Okay, I just redimension it a little more, a little smaller. Then let's go this way. I will copy it, Ctrl C, then I will paste it with Ctrl V. Now I have two sets of the same solid. I will move it on one millimeter. And then I will have a boolean difference. I will subtract what is up, up from this down there. So I will say Rhino. Pick this one, this solid here, and then subtract it, this little one here. What I get, I get some sort of a cup. Like that. Okay. And this has a diameter of one, two, three, four centimeters. Okay. And an height of one centimeter. Yes, one centimeter. Now let's move these a little upper. And once again, I will do a Ctrl C copy, Ctrl V paste. The one I pasted, I will get a little down there. And then I will scale it, dimension, transform, scale, 3D. I want it a little larger. like that the effect is the following one maybe i will go with some shaded okay and you will see two objects like that now let's do a final step of Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy and paste, at least on a PC. And then I will transform scale 3D once again there. Okay, I will reposition these three paraboloid in this way because I simply wanted to have this fountain to the ground level. So this part here under mm, JJ Boots will be underground, okay? Then water that will be visible at the ground level. And then some two more caps, let's uh, uh, call them caps, a little more elevated. So the effect will be this one let's go maybe with the shaded okay 
an object like that. And this is a good starting point. Let's see what I can get more from this. Uh, let's add something to connect the three cups together. Okay. I will go with some control curves there, like that. Let's say like that and let's see what I can get. This I will go horizontally and then these also horizontally like that. Then with these three curves here, one, two and three, I will decide to go and do a revolution along these axes here. Okay, the result is the following one. I think it may work. Uh, yes, it may work. Let's see. Okay, good. It's starting to get... A decent shape like that good 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 now let's start adding some hole now let's use this circle here and let's extrude it and let's say I want to make a hole in those ones. So I choose difference with this one and I got something like that that has some holes. Why holes? Because I wanted this fountain to be functional so with real water so I will need some pipes, some tubes and then also a pump. Good. Now, before doing adjustments, I need underground a tank, obviously a tank, because simply because inside here I will not be able to hide any pump at all. Okay. I need a space for a tank. My little pump is four centimeters by three and a half centimeters by four and a half centimeters. Let's say I will do a tank initially of a cube. Yes, let's say a cube of four centimeters in each direction. As you can see, it has generated a cube of 4 cm in each direction that I can move and place and inside this cube I will place the pump and it will have the dimension. So the only thing visible will be from this point here to this top here. Possible? Yes. A ta the tank is a little too small. Okay, I think it will suit and that it will have enough water for the job. So let's eliminate this cube here and let's control C, control V this cube, a tank like that. That will fit, I think, in here. Okay, let's move the tank back. Okay. 
Okay. Dank. Cup 1, Cup 2, Cup 3. Gut. Okay. And this is my fontaine. Uh, let's do something. Let's export piece by piece. And then I will print everything. Voila, guys. Very, very quickly printed. 3D printed with the filament printer, the Creality Ender 3 V2. And I went over the maximum speed allowed for getting some decent result simply because I wanted to show you the result of what I've imagined and modeled some seconds ago for you, some hours ago for me. That's the reason why I have some little issues there because I went too, too, too quickly. That's the reason why I'm thinking changing my filament printer because it is too slow too too slow the tank the three cups uh, the support for the cups the pipe and the top the, the top of the uh, fountain and here is the pump first time i'm using this pump here it is a 220 volt uh, pump water pump uh, by the way, those are the two prong Italian plug, 220 volts. And these are, have one, two, three, four settings from low to high. And they can pump up to 150 liters per hour. Obviously, I will have a little problem concerning on how to get this cord here into the tank because I made a too little hole there but it's not right now the problem to uh, face. I still don't know if the concept will work guys, absolutely not. I've imagined the the fountain I've modeled it very quickly. I know that the base, the physics behind it can work. That I these seven uh, centimeters cube almost because they have a little um, shape there can hold enough water to make everything work. And by the way, what you are seeing. In the bottom of the tank are some uh, little things I've added to get the pump fixed or uh, anchored or uh, strictly fixed to the tank. Oops, move the camera. And the pump will go inside like that. Okay, so the dimension is there. I know that it can make and these cannot stick to the plastic because this is a rough plastic and it can get in touch. So I will need to have some zip ties, I think, and maybe I will... Uh, I, I, I can keep the, the, the everything and not remove anything. And this is the concept that I don't know if it works, but like that and then everything else. Okay, <laughs> let's, let, let's assemble this for a moment without the tank. Let's get this is the, oops, dimensionally correct. Yes, so this will go there like that. Then the big one there. Then the first support, this is, okay, okay.
then this cup here and the distance is set by the support maybe I will need to sandpaper a little then the second support like that then the final cup like that then the top here but I will go like that and then this will go like that more or less okay more or less so from the side the fountain will have this look here the water will come from the top and then ploof and then ploof hopefully i don't know if it work okay i really don't know if it work i need to get the pump inside and the wire the, the cable the wire not like that because it will get some thickness I don't want so I will need most probably to to do some wiring okay first I will need to test if the pump works uh, I don't want to do a mess like that let's fill up these okay i will certainly do a mess but let's even test if these work like that and then i need some power okay i'm protecting these no let's do Ooh. too powerful very 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 powerful maybe I set the wrong where is plus and where is minus I don't know it isn't marked okay it was a set on maximum as you may understand there is no way i can get this through this or this through this okay i can cut there but I don't want to do that I will do something crazy but I'm crazy so let's do it You may think 
now I will get this together no it will be the right solution blue with blue brown with brown face with face neutral with neutral no absolutely not because one day I may disassemble this so I need a more intelligent way to do this I will use a male and a female plug 5 5 by 2 1 male and female plus and minus this is it can get stick okay and uh, it will allow me by simply unscrewing a couple of uh, screws to take off one of the two plug and remove the wire the cable from the tank there so let's see if this is more intelligent Let's test this without water, but very quickly in order not to damage the pump. It works. Good. Let's do a final test. Okay guys, I've removed the two suckers there, so I don't have enough uh, thickness. The result, the result, but let's go anyway with a test. Good guys, I was here, but I can't go against physics, okay? I can't go against physics. It works, yes, but not at the level of water I wanted. Now it's four and a half hours later, okay? Four and a half hours later. The time it took me to print this new tank here I will have I have a little of stringing because I went warp extra dimensional velocity and uh, but uh, Okay, when the tank is here, at this level here, more or less at this level here, the water is also at this level here. <laughs> the only way to get the fountain completely filled with water, or almost completely filled with water, was to reduce the amount of holes I drilled in the bottom there and allow just a little fraction of water to go bluff, bluff, to go drop by drop into the tank. But this means having this filling and the one down not filling and I risk the pump to burn. So the other solution 
Uh, why this? Because water can't go up than the level. The sea can't go towards the mountains, okay? Because there is atmospheric pressure. So if this is a field at this level here, I can't go and feel. Yes, I can, but this will be to be need to be sealed, okay? If I want something like a fountain, I have to get the water level at a decent level. Good, let's uh, have this sealed, this whole here, here sealed and I'm gonna use some resin. If, I'm, if I uh, use some epoxy glue, I risk not to remove this anymore. But I will use some resin, the same I use for my figurines and everything else, and a UV lamp like this one. I will not point to the camera, okay? And some cotton. This will be removable if I use some force when I will disassemble this. So, I will soak the cotton into the resin If I apply enough force here, I will break the resin, but I just want these to be sealed enough. Let's test once again the system. Okay. Good. I can even go like that. I can even go further, but right now it is not the point to go further. And the fountain, like that, I don't know if you can see. Maybe yes, maybe not. But it works. The water is here. And these, let's go up 
a little more well, yeah I like that okay but guys it works maybe I will show you the effort from this angle here during the final recap because right now you are not seeing anything but I will need to dig a hole for this fountain here Final recap of part 4 of the 2023 season and I am starting from the Red Building, the new addition to the Viking Fishing Village. I started with the blue one, then the purple one, the lila one, then the yellow one, the only octagon building for now, and now the red one. It is somehow... A, li a little different from the blue one like from there 
you can see that it has the top here and this little balcony is the same as this one but it is the first building that you can see that I have done a specular building in this case this is the front and the chimney is on the left side right if from your point of view here the chimney is on the opposite side so chimneys are joining together the <coughs> the entry there is somehow a specular version of this one here then i added uh, a level here a middle level a first level here with light obviously and then the top here is uh, as the same th is the same one as this one as the blue one but it is specular so it has it goes from the other side and inside obviously i already placed all the cables all the wires for the lights and i also remanaged a little the platforms there i'm lacking so many things i'm lacking some stairs i'm lacking some other uh, short and uh, long um, platform uh, <laughs> i am under with the 3d printing uh, process and here will have a lot of life even something more but it's not the final uh, layout i will most probably change uh, it two or three times more especially because i still have two square building a yellow one as this one a green one and then the three octagon buildings very strange but here you can imagine all the new villagers uh, having fun here on the platform plus many rowboats etc i still miss a uh, wharf a dock there and by the way now the sand is completely hard guys most probably here in front of the stairs i will have the docks the wharf the pier call it whatever you want uh, it has been a long week of modeling guys i know i've worked a little a little very little on the layout but it has been a long week of modeling especially because i wanted to give you a new point of view from this point here sorry for the camera okay guys so behind here behind the tree there that will go up up there you will get the entrance of the park of a new type of victorian park very deranged very strange right now you don't understand why i've placed the such things and why i made a triangle but in the next weeks i will reveal why and the fountain there is at ground level guys i will not switch it on simply because i still need to paint it to fix everything i didn't have time and from the top view guys there so here you have the base of a triangle and then the top of the triangle will be there guys so this is my solution and you have seen me passing it through the camera with this little thing there a stage guys a stage here from the left and from the right i will have different types of stages obviously on top of the stages i will not have a greta there but I will have all the figurines from the circus. I decided to go with a carnival section, yes, but a carnival section with performers staying on some stages to promote them, 
to give them more importance to honor them. Obviously, I will have also many other things going there, right, left. Not all the figurines will be on the stage, on stage, obviously. They will also be around like the clowns, etc. But this will be my carnival section. I also modeled a new type of fences, guys. I needed something not too high. Let me take greater there. And you can see that it is half the height of uh, a figurine. So you can see through it, it's not plain. It uh, resembles a lot as a canal fences, but it is more dense. Low, you can see over the fences with some pillars. Uh, you are wondering why white and the gray. I generally test my first prints with the FDM. The three section there, because I also got a three section for some narrow uh, corner, for example, took 34 minutes on a FDM printer. And the four section there, took 44 minutes so this is modular as everything new uh, as everything i model new because i want something modular something that can be modified i haven't modeled anything any of those as uh, rounded because i don't think this design here is suited for rounded balusters or rounded uh, part like that. I can go there, there, I can, I don't know right now. And the stage guys, this is printed with the Elegus Saturn 8K. An 8K printer gives such details guys precision details even the the little candles maybe i can approach a little more the camera like that you can see that you have candles on front of the stage my initial idea was to have some micro led put in there but it is too difficult to get there so those are fake candles obviously but I've also modeled there some sort of big nails there, okay? And here I will go with a couple of lanterns still to be modeled with LED inside that will bring light to the stage and to the performers on the stage. This is some sort of Viking mixed in the modern and Viking, horns of a Viking, then a shield even if uh, Viking shields were almost round circular shields, but those are modern Vikings with something more. Curtains, etc. still need to be painted. Right now it's nothing, guys, but once painted, and obviously can be placed wherever I want, then some other stages, uh, mm, mm, some other figurines with little stages here and there. This is a big stage, guys. This is an 18 centimeter stage. Giant stage, guys. Giant stage, 18 centimeter stage. Not all the stages will be this big, but others will be smaller, but one maybe will be bigger. So I will most probably rearrange this uh, area here, maybe going uh, like that. Okay, like that and then like that to getting some more space, to get some more space. Um, or maybe the other way, guys. Maybe also this other way there in order to have just 
a little space there to come through and then here uh, something else that will be twisted there guys especially in the right section and especially there here on at 85 centimeters from the tree there it will most probably ruin everything what i will be placing there it will be monstrous it will be giant and you will probably ate everything from that point on but i will exaggerate once again and here i curved on the styrofoam to technique the knives obviously with the uh, extruded styrofoam because it is possible to cut into the styrofoam onto the extruded styrofoam with a knife here i use uh, the some hot tool to cut my auto table here to cut the square the piece then the <clears throat> the hot wire tool uh, 85 i mark it there 85 why 85 and why a triangle i will not tell you maybe it is a little not enough work for this part but believe me modeling that stage three days to model that stage with all those curtains guys three days to model that stage the balusters the pillars and i don't know even the pillars have been printed with the 8k printer look at the cracks i've also added all the cracks on the on the pillars right now they are not suited and the baluster are suited to be used like that one baluster one pillars one baluster one pillars i didn't like it to have so long pieces like that okay like that like the canal fences no i already have the canal fences for that so nine one two three four five six seven eight nine then a pillar then another nine then another pillar okay and then a three or a four i don't think i will go with five no nine four or three that's uh, what i will be using next time i will paint the fountain i think crazy ideas come like that and also here i was saying i will continue here so i will continue with something more here other levels and by pure chances i still have a 50 centimeters so uh, a little more than 50 centimeters so a styrofoam panel 12 by 50 by one meter by one meter is still uh, su suited for that space here something more maybe i will go here then 12 i don't know yet this is fresh started thinking on it on monday then everything came that that's why i spent so many hours on modeling and nothing else guys yes the fountain and the fountain yesterday guys i modeled it yesterday and today so two days between modeling and getting the final result oh yes i forgot to mention why the new tank physics guys seven by seven by seven the tank wasn't enough to have the water at ground level this tank here allow me to have water at ground level see you further out when you decide to go with no plants at all for your new christmas village that is what happened a new starting point each week i know i planned the viking fishing village but nothing else guys that's the reason of a such intense week of modeling nights of modeling and that's the reason why i will need to continue 
on some modeling to coadjuvate, to help me proceed with the rest of the village. Such a fountain is, on, is not on catalog. A ground level fountain like that. Not even possible to buy, so I had to quickly do something for my needs. A very tall fountain there would have blocked completely the view to what will be there at 85 centimeters from the tree, guys. Uh, I am so crazy. The red building is now part of the family of the Viking fishing village and everything else. I will most probably pass the next few days, the next many days, modeling so many other things because they don't exist on the market, what I have in mind. And instead of having balusters built by my hands in, let's say, two days, in just one day I have a set of modular new type of balusters, guys. The stages. Many things will happen on those stages, guys. And it was the only solution I found to get all the figurines, all the circus figurines once again on the layout. Don't tell anyone that I will also add some more, some new circus figurines to the layout, freshly modeled because I want that. So I will integrate the circus into the carnival, like this was a non-tent, a not-tent circus, an open stage circus and carnival together with a big scary twist, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing once again my impossible English and see you for part five, but only if you really wish. Bye, guys.